everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hi everybody. Guess what time it is? It's time for explorations of me. This is 2017. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to finish up this journal that we worked in last year. Um, this is my explorations of me as well as my negativity smackdown. Now if you are new to this, let me bring you in. Oops, wrong way. In. Um, if you're new to this, what it is is uh, last year I had a program called I Am, a journaling journey. And what I did is I was working on uh, the positivities of me, um, putting in positive uh, feelings and thoughts and notes, that kind of thing. Gina Ahrens had a negativity smackdown, which is where we would start out with journaling and, and then get all of that negativity out on the paper and then cover it up with something beautiful. So what we've decided to do is we actually put together a program um, called Explorations of Me. And what we do is once a month, you'll see the videos on the 15th of every month, what they come out is um, we bring out videos that talk about a certain prompt. Now, you don't have to do our specific prompt. You can do this in any way you want to. We'll, we'll be talking about a, a topic. All right, and if you decide that um, you're not, you, you don't like the topic, or you want to change it, or you just have an idea that goes off from that topic, feel free to use it. We don't have any issues at all with that. So, with that being said, this is January of 2017, and what I normally do, um, let me back up a little bit more. This is a composition notebook. That's what this is. Um, we've taken, I've actually taken a bunch of just goodies and, and done it on the outside. A um, bunch of jelly prints, that kind of thing. And then what you do is you take your composition notebook and you go in and you glue every two pages together. So this is two pages. And what it does is it just makes it a little bit thicker um, paper for it to take whatever you put to it. Okay, um, so you glue every two pages together and then you just wrinkle them up a little bit. All right, that way it's no longer a perfect journal. See, no problem. It's not perfect. We don't want it to be. Um, it's a place to play. All right, so now with that being said, you'll probably see um, some different spreads here as I go through this. These are some spreads that I did last year or... Um, they could be a negativity smackdown that I had to do. It just, it all depends. And what this book is for is to do exactly this. We're going to play. We're going to use a topic. We're going to do some journaling. We're not looking for masterpieces. That's not what this is about. This is just talking about our topic, putting down our feelings, and playing with some art playing with some paint, playing with some collage, stamps, uh, whatever you want to play with. That's what this is for, okay? So that's the, that's the explanation of Explorations of Me. And for this month, this topic is going to be, what did you want to be when you grew up? Mm, think about that one. While I'm thinking about that one, I am going to find a page. Now, these are not in any order whatsoever. As you can see, they're completely random. Um, I have a lot of one-pagers, so I'll be doing a bunch of those this year. Perfect. Looks like a good spot to start. Do I want to do that, or do I want to do a one-pager? Let's think about this. Um, well, I'm going to put a few twos. Um, nah. I'm basically looking to see what feels right. What feels right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a one pager. I, I, for something's telling me to do a one pager, so I'm going to do a one pager. Let's do this page. It's got a little bit of start on it, which is okay. No problem. So, what did I want to be when I grew up and why? Did I get there? And if I didn't, how come? Let me get some stuff together. I'm going to get you guys zoomed down in, and we're going to start talking about what I wanted to be when I grew up. We'll be right back. 
All right, I'm back, and um, while I was gone for that, supposed to be a second, it was like quite a few minutes, I've changed my mind. I don't want to start on that page. Isn't that something? Ah, uh, do, do, do. And let's do this one. Let's do this page right here, because this looks really cool. So, what did I want to be when I grew up? What I wanted to be is a an airline stewardess. That's what I wanted to be. Now, um, the only thing I could think of, and I could just, um, I was so excited about when I was younger, is just to be able to travel the world. And that was what my heart was set on. And again, we're talking, I'm talking back years and years, I'm talking you know, when I was younger, um, I wanted to travel. I'm trying to see if you hear if you guys could hear that music. Um, I wanted to travel the world. I wanted to see and be everything. And I, you know, I used to see um, commercials on TV of these airline stewardesses. And they were always dressed really, really sharp, which I thought was really neat. And isn't that cool? I like that. It's like a little heart. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to put... We're going to do this a little bit different. Different is good. All right, I've got this piece here. I've got a couple other pieces here. All right, let's start with our background. But we're going to use this. All right, this is annoying me. So we have to just do something with it because it's annoying me. All right, we're going to start with our background. Now what I've got now is I've got a couple different blues and I have some white here. So I'm just going to put a little bit on this palette. Now this, if you notice, this is actually a cutting board. The other side is all funky. This side is completely smooth. And what I what sold me the most on this, I found it in a thrift store, is it what doesn't move love it so that's there so let's throw a couple um, blues down this is a cerulean blue that is a uh, let's see this one is an apple barrel tells you how old it is um, white this one is a cerulean blue hue and oh, first thing we're gonna do before I even get started we're going to put some art guard on. This is something that I have promised myself I would do for my hands this year. Is stop sucking in all that paint. Alright, so that's done. Um, we're going to put on ugh, this other blue. Now that I put lotion on. Here we go. A little bit darker. So it was my dream to just... Um, get up in that air and just and and you know be all dressed up nice and cool and 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 just enjoy flying around the world all I could think of is you know I get to leave where I'm at I get to head out and go down to wherever and it just to me it was it was like magical all right this is the white we're going to use Got another one here. We're gonna put blue. It's got purple. I don't care. Gotta get my water out. Boy, I'm really not prepared today. Here's my water jar. Nasty water jar. It's got clean water in it for a change. All right. There's paint. Okay. So that was, you know, that was my my thoughts on what I wanted to be when I grew up and it was just the whole um, the whole thing about it was being able to leave where I was at uh, I think as a child we always want to go somewhere better somewhere nicer somewhere you know away from our home <laughs> um, you know Sometimes childhoods aren't the best. Unfortunately, I did not have a great one. But, you know, hey, that's what it is. It is. Um, which is okay. 
so I'm not too worried about it. I have lived through it. I survived and, you know, just made me who I am, which I think I'm a pretty good person. So let's, what I'm doing is just, I'm just playing with the paint right now. I'm just kind of putting some paint down, a little bit of light here, a little bit of dark here, using these little daubers. Let's take some of the white. I have a black cat hair in there somewhere because my little black buster who is still annoying me right now he keeps uh, patting on me on my shoulders he wants to come visit alright so we're just like I said we're just adding paint just kind of breaking up that background a little bit not doing anything fancy so back to my when I was a child it, you know I was so excited about just um, you know, I'd see those girls and they'd, they'd look so professional and I mean, we're talking, I'm not talking like when I was 17, 18, 19 years old. I'm talking about like when I was 8, 9, and 10. This was my, I, this was just, oh my God, it was the ideal um, to be able to go and and go up in the air and, and dress so spiffy and, and go and just go and get away. I, I was just, that's what I wanted to do. So that is what we're going to base our page about today. Now, um, there we go, I like that. Let me dry this up real quick and then we are going to get started putting some of our collage on here and we're going to work on this page. I'll be right back. All right, so I like this, I like this and I want that to open but I don't want the back to look like that so we're going to set this aside for a second. And I went into my scrapbook papers. Yeah, I've got lots of them. And I found this one, which I think is going to work really well. So what we're going to do at this point is I'm going to grab a glue stick. As soon as I figure out where I put my glue sticks. This is just a regular Elmer's glue stick. And what I'm going to do is just glue this really good. Start out on one side, do it just like this. Oops, didn't get all of it. Hold on there, need to get all of it. All right, so there's one part of that's going to be off. I will get it. The heck with it, we'll just put it there and we'll cut around. Okay, so there's that one. Because I really like um, this. Was actually funny this that I cut it out of it was an old calendar as you can tell and I think I found it like in a dollar store or something it was like a quarter and I was like that's really cool old maps so keep your eyes out for art supplies you don't have to pay lots and lots of money for so many art supplies there's so much that you can get just by looking around um, if I can save money I'll save money so 90% of my art room is like bought on clearance. Um, I refuse to pay full price for anything. So, why should I help somebody else make lots of money, you know? Not these big greedy corporations today, anyways. So, anyways, so what I'm doing is I just cut that. Let's make some of this go away. And see there now it'll be have more of a travel feel to it because I want this to open up I, I kind of like that it's cool because it's kind of in a shape of a heart and this is where my heart was when I was a kid I mean I wanted to be in the skies I wanted to I wanted to go see all new and exciting things and I wanted to get out of the place I was in um, which like I said wasn't a great place to have a childhood but I just, I wanted to go and explore and see new things and just get away. So, um, that was my dream. We haven't got to why I haven't got there yet, but we will. Okay. So now I know this folds this way, so let's just fold it up again. I'm going to use my bone folder just to shoot. There we go. Now I like that, but it's a little bit too plain. 
blue. So I found this one. And actually, I have a bunch of words here off to the side. So, you know what? We might use, this is a stencil that says world map, go discover travel. We might use that to decorate instead of this. So let's get this off my desk. All right, here's my book. <laughs> my two things are stuck to it. <laughs> get out there. All right. Do, 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 do. Sorry if I feel a little or look a little wound up. I am. Um, I actually have pneumonia, believe it or not. And uh, my doctor put me on some really um, high dose of steroids to try to get my lungs to breathe a little bit better. We just did that yesterday. All right, look at her. See? She's spiffy. I couldn't find a picture that I wanted of an, like an airline stewardess. So this gal got my attention. So she's going to end up on my page. Not sure I was going to look like this. I definitely am not a blonde. Never will be, never have been, and don't ever plan on being. Um, but I like the fact that she just looked... I don't want to say sassy because that's really not the right word. But I like her. I don't know if I want to cut off her feet yet. Yeah, I do. Bye, feet. See you later. So when you were growing up, what was your dream? Where did you want to go? Who did you want to be? Um, I had one friend tell me the only thing she wanted to do was be a mom and be a wife. And, uh, that's awesome. Everybody's dreams, they're, they're awesome. You know, if you don't have dreams, what do you have? And I think dreams are something that, even today, um, you know, people think, oh, I'm too old. You know, no, you're not. You're only as old as you allow yourself to be. Um, did I ever think I was going to be an artist? No. Did I know I was creative? Yeah. Did I think I could do anything with it? No. But you know what? Hey, why not dream? And guess what? I'm dreaming and I'm living it. Um, had I not gotten hurt at my job and ended up with this lovely chronic pain, uh, I would not be doing this. I can tell you that right now. I'd be too busy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have time to do this. Um, I basically worked around the clock and I was out more than I was home and uh, me and my road hubby but uh, I used to call him that he was my he was my peer that I worked with he was so funny we'd go and he you know we'd be wherever doing an audit and uh, he'd be like his wife um, he's like she needs an outfit we need to go shopping okay so we'd go shopping and we'd find his wife an outfit and <laughs> it was funny <coughs> he was a good guy. <coughs> Pardon me one second. All right, sorry about that. I had a cough and jazz there that um, I had to get through. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I've you know my lungs are just not happy. So, all right, what I'm going to do is take some of this darker blue paint, and I just I can't keep this the color it is. <laughs> it's got to have something done to it. So I'm basically just going to work on um, just kind of changing the colors a little bit. Do it on the inside as well. Why not? I'm not a fan of that color there. We'll get rid of that. Do, 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 do. Okay. Alright, so <coughs> come on, don't start again. Alright, so now you guys know what I wanted to be when I grew up. Why didn't I get there? Hmm. Well, <laughs> let's see. When I was uh, 16, I want to say, my parents purchased a restaurant. And I went to work full time. Oops. I had, um, I worked, we had a diner is what we had. 
and I was a short order cook as well as I've done dishwashing I did all the book work um, uh, we did I did waitressing you know it really just depended on what the job was needed at the time and at that point I'm not really sure what happened to my dreams other than they just kind of went on the wayside uh, because I, apparently I felt I was living the dream I don't know um, it just kind of went on the wayside and I didn't really think about you know at that point what I wanted to be when I grew up I mean I was I was doing stuff you know I was um, being a, a waitress and a cook and you know had the boyfriends and you know all that kind of stuff so it wasn't really that I gave up on my dreams I just didn't really think about my dreams if that makes sense so you know I, I like to say the way I like to say it is life happened and that's basically what happened and then um, I do know at one part during all of the uh, restaurant um, I was gonna sign up for the military uh, my dad was went in the Navy my brother was in the Air Force and I myself was gonna go into the Navy and I honestly am not sure what happened I know I went through it's hard to remember now but I know back then I went through um, all the process I went up I was getting ready to we were gonna be heading out I thought I had signed up and for some reason um, I guess they needed my parents signature for some reason I don't remember I really don't remember all I know is they wouldn't let me go my parents said no I wasn't going um, I think I was 17 when that was going on and so that kind of just fell to the wayside and so that didn't happen uh, going into the into the um, do, 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 get my train of thought here Cindy going into the Navy just didn't happen so trying to decide how I want to lay this out. I think I'm going to do this because I've got some other things here that I've cut out of magazines which I thought would be really cool. This is it was like a leaning tower there. So I'm going to put that in here. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. I like that part of it but I don't really like this part so we're going to cut this off a little bit. I'm going to make it my way. It's going to be my tower. Right? There's no wrong way. There's my way. So I'm going to make Matt my little tower. So my tower is going to go in here. Um, I wish I could find more little, you know, goody things. Here's my jet. Because I was going to be on the jet. Let's actually, let's put those down in here. Why not? Make my jet here. Let's make my jet go in here. All right. Let's just grab some glue. Yay. All right. So... Um, when I, like I said, that that didn't happen. I didn't go in the military, which I, I really wanted to go into the Navy. Again, I, I don't know why I ended up not going. I really don't remember the whole story. So it was too many years ago. I know it had something to do with my parents signing papers, and they wouldn't sign papers. That I do know. Um, I think they thought maybe I was going because I was pissed off at them. I don't know. I thought it was a good reason. But uh, yay, there's my jet. I'm a jet setter. Alright, I want this here. So now instead of using just glue to hold this down, because I know, um, you know, I'm not saying it won't last, but it will last much better with this. This is just a double-sided tape that I picked up last time I was in an art store. Um, I know, expensive there, but I wanted some, so. And what I'm going to do is just put it down this spine right here. And I don't know if I've showed you guys this or not, but here's a little trick. If you've got double-sided tape and it's really a pain in the butt to try to get that to peel off, if you just take a pokey tool or a knife, exacto knife, something like that, look how easy that is. Pokey tools. Okay. So this is going to go right here. Yay! Here I am getting ready to tackle the world. <laughs> My legs show. Let's glue her down. So, like I said, never made it to the 
stewardess. I never made it to travel the world. Um, working in my parents' restaurant, like I said, I did that full time. You know, I was making money. Had a boyfriend at the time, and ended up having my first pride and joy, which is my son Jay, when I was 19. So you know that kind of put a bosh on uh, any traveling. <laughs> traveling? What's that? I need to find a border for here. Hmm. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Alright, I said I wanted a border and then I got looking around. I'm like, no I don't. I have things right here I'm going to use. I got a bunch of words um, and saying sayings here. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, this came out of a looks like a paint catalog. It says, oh darling, let's be adventurers. And then I just have a bunch of like travel stuff here and dream stuff. So your dream, again, we're talking about our, you know, what did you want to be when you grow up, and that's a dream. So I'm going to use these words as my border. Not really border, but I'm going to cover up her stuck leg here, her cut off leg. So this is your dream. I want it to fly higher. I don't have any red in here, but it's going to have to work. Doo doo gonna have to work. My pellet stove is a cranking today. <laughs> my husband came in the other night and uh, he's like, oh my gosh, it's cold in here. I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, turn up the pellet stove. I'm like, but, 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 but. He's like, you're going through a bag a day. I'm like, hey, that works. As long as he goes, turn it up. <laughs> so I did. Alright, so, doo, doo, doo. I like being warm. I don't like being cold. Seems like every time I'm cold, I just, I can never get warm. I hate being cold. So, it's going to be, your dream is going to give you a happier you. What else do we have in here? Let's do this. Travel, travel, we'll put that on the inside. It starts with a wish. Yeah, I'm going to do that because I really, at that point in my life, I wished I could get out of the situation I was in. And so, yeah, it did start with a wish and a dream. And I just looked at the clock and it's really weird. It's 11 or 111. 1111. All right. The good life. Okay, so let's put you down here. So that's what I wanted to do and... That's why I didn't get it done, and it's all good. Um, I ended up going into, after I left my parents' restaurant, oh gosh, I ended up, I, the only, when I left them, I actually left the, the restaurant for the job that I just got hurt on. Um, I was at that corporation for 23 years, so apparently that's what it was supposed to be. That's where I was supposed to be. So... You know, it's funny when you think back about, well, you know, what would have happened had I, and then fill in the blank, you know, what would have happened had I ad actually ended up into the, in the military? Where would I be now? Who knows? You know, you, you look back at life and there's so many different paths that you take and you just don't know where you would be. You know what? I'm going to put another piece of double tape right there for that or maybe just a little bit of glue. I want that glue down there. There. Travel. But it just really makes you wonder, you know, there's so many whys in the road and you take a certain path and it's like, well, what would happen if I went the other way? I sit and think about that sometimes. My husband and I will sit and talk about it. You know, well, what if, what if we didn't get together? Where would I be? Where would you be? What would we be doing? You know, it's, it's just interesting to think about. So, all right, one thing I did not do, I'm not going to put this one on here, it doesn't go. Um, travel, that's got a train on it, but let's take off the train. Um, 
Hopkins. No, let's leave it on the train. We're not going to put that on there. All right. So one thing I have not done is I have not journaled on this. And I am going to journal. Let me just grab... I don't want to introduce... Well, maybe I will do a lick. Hmm, let me think about it. I'll be right back. All right, so I pulled out a couple different pens here. This is just a Papermate uh, Ink Joy gel pen. And I just brought this out so I could just play around, do some scribbles and doodles, and and then I am going to do journaling, but I'm going to do it with my white pen, which is the Uniball Signal, um, because I it's going to be a journaling for, you know, what my dream was, and um, you know what I wanted to be. So I'm just playing right now with this, just kind of playing around, doing some sketchy sketches here and there, and just. Making it mine. Doesn't have to be perfect. Like we said, it's it's not this that's not what this journaling is about. This journaling is about you. And it's about what you want to put into it. You don't have to make masterpieces. This is a place to play. It's a place to just be you. No expectations, no requirements. This guy's losing lost half of his tail here. We just built him a half a tail. <laughs> um so, you know, just have fun with this. It's explorations of me is exactly what it means. You're exploring yourself and you're just thinking about, you know, things that, you know, all the prompts are going to be different. It's not going to be, um, you know, we're not looking like a soul searching this year per se. There's going to be, I got to shut that ringer off because that pinging is going to drive me nuts. Um, it's more about just the prompts and, and playing with them and enjoying it. So... Let me just go ahead. I'm going to be quiet for a second. I'll just do my doodling. Actually, let me my uh, journaling. Let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. All right, so that worked out, <coughs> pardon me, exactly as I wanted it to. This is my journaling, and you can't see it. I know what it says, but I did it in the white pen. Can't be seen, but it's there, okay? So take this month's prompt. Have fun with it. You know, play around. What what did you want to be? What was your dream? Did you, I mean, did you want to be a vet? Did you, there's so many things that when we're kids that we dream of. Oh my gosh, I'd love to be this or that or the other thing. So this is mine. You guys learned a little bit more about me that, um, you know, I really, I wanted to be away. I just wanted to travel. I just wanted to get away from everything. So, and I did it a little bit differently. I just thought it was kind of cool. Nice little one pager. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please put them in the description, in the link below. Don't forget to check out the other artists links. Uh, we have two new artists joining us this year. There's myself, there's Gina Aarons. We're having Ann Williamson is, um, joining us as well as Shemi Dixon. So definitely check out their videos. The links are going to be in the description boxes of everybody's videos so you can get to all four of us easily. And we would love to see what you do. Definitely share your work with us. We um, have Facebook groups. You guys know about them, I hope. If you don't, let me know. I can get you some links, okay? All right, everybody. We'll chat with you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!